So now we're going to do distressing and with the PIY paint products, I don't really like to sand anything and I don't like to distress and uh, have to sand things to distress. Cindy can't stand the, sa the sound of sandpaper. So with the PIY paint products, we do what we call wet distressing. So I take a rag, I put it into water. Now I like warm water, it just seems to work better. I put it into my rag or my sponge. Um, I do go to the dollar store and I'll get the sponges. We don't want to use the sponges with the green back because they do sometimes tend to lose a little bit of color. So you want to take do a test on that first. So um, my project has been has two had two coats of the paint and it's still a little tiny bit wet, but I can distress it now. Um, and you can also leave your project for two weeks or two months until you seal it. You can still go back and distress it. So I'm just going to wipe here a little bit and then I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing on this mirror that my husband bought for me. Once again with the PIY, the paint it yourself, we like things that are simple and we like things that are fast. I don't have a lot of time, which most people nowadays, everybody's so busy they don't have a lot of time to do things. So I like things that are quick. And you're going to see in a minute just exactly how I'm gonna hold this up. How nice this is distressing. I always laugh because my mom calls it stressing. So I says, oh, you're gonna stress that, Laura? I still love the distressed look on furniture. I just think it adds some character. And then too, I like everything that's sort of imperfectly perfect. So you can see I'm doing nothing fancy at all. I'm gonna hold it up in about two minutes here before I do the edges. I like to just sort of go back, clean my paint that I've taken off, clean it off, make sure that my sides are sort of balanced out. And then I will go back again when I'm completely done and um, nice in? Yes. Nice. Um, you can see on here that I do have paint. That's okay because I'm just going to take my rag and go along and you can see my paint is going to come right off. Now I'm making kind of a little bit of a mess there on here but you know what we deal with all of that later right I'll see if I can sort of do an edge here well it's tipped up you can see that this is all you know I, I mean I can't stress enough that it's so simple that and let's say that I'm doing this and I take off too much and I go oh you know what that's too much I don't want that much then I can just come back with my brush and put more on. Uh, people will ask at workshops too, well, how much do I take off? You know what, you take off as much as you're comfortable with. Um, Cindy likes little bits of distressing and I like a lot. So again, it's, you would distress, um, if you're doing a drawer, you would distress like around the handles, um, areas that would normally have wear. I'm going to turn my burner off. That's normal. So I think, Cindy, is there anything else that you can think of for the distressing that... I think that's looking good. I'm going to get a clean cloth. I'm going to come around. I'm going to make sure that I've I've got um, everything is nice and crisp that I don't have any paint on top. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to wax over top of this. So until then, happy painting. <laughs>